We're Rory and April. We are the Grace Gamers. and welcome back to everybody that's still watching our channel. We are here to provide you with a little travel update like we promised a month ago. We've been a little bit busy. So we are filming here in our new little place in Wilmington, North Carolina. I really like it here. This was a good decision of a place to kind of sit for a year while we take care of some business. So people have asked why we chose Wilmington. Well, just like we kind of chose where we were going in Europe, we kind of just threw a dart at the map that had things that we wanted, a good climate, mild winter, the beach, beach. very cool beaches here, and even mountains not too far away. And then Rory's family is not far away either. So that's how we figured out Wilmington, North Carolina. Not just because I loved One Tree Hill and all those Nicholas Sparks movies that were filmed here that had nothing to do with it. There were a lot of reasons that it led us to decide to come home and, and sit for a year. And one of the reasons was April's back. Yeah, so I grew up with really terrible scoliosis that has put me through three really severe painful surgeries. And one that I had two years ago was just not very successful. So after all of our traveling, I was really having a lot of terrible pain. Um, found out some news not so great through some imaging recently done, and I am here hopefully seeing a pain management specialist doing some really cool um, therapies to hopefully get over that and be able to get my backpack on and back on the road. Another huge reason was to take care of Oliver. We're going to have him service dog trained to take care of me. With that, it will definitely change on how we travel. No more huge crates and having to put him in cargo. He'll actually be able to sit next to us. Yeah, so he started training a couple weeks ago and he is loving it. The third reason we decided to come home is that we have some major events coming up in our older adult kids' lives that we need to be here for. And the last of which will be May of 25. And it made more sense to not to fly back and forth, just one of us or both of us to include Oliver back and forth to see these events so it just makes more sense to be here in america and maybe the final reason or the biggest reason is travel burnout after 14 months of straight traveling never ever coming back home it may have just been a little too much travel burnout is a real thing as you other travel full-time nomads on youtube no we struggled with things with our airbnbs just got really hard um, some of the global events happening around the world are kind of spreading across the world and kind of changing the climate a little bit. So that got hard. Um, and then also just having to change all the time. Yeah, that with our huge suitcases, Oliver's bag, Oliver. Well, and learning new languages and currency and just everything about a new place every month can get really hard. But we do look forward to going back and we do plan on going back. Yeah. We'll make some changes on the uh, equipment this next go around, but we're looking forward to it. The last reason was my dual citizenship through Italy. Still some paperwork that needs to get done here in America, but that'll make traveling with the dude so much easier while we're in Europe. Yeah, so we had to hop in and out of Schengen, as you know, to be legal there. And that's 27 countries in the EU, which is most countries in the EU. Oh, the ones you want to go to. Yeah, so you had to get out every 90 days of every 180 rolling days. So, you know, um, this will keep us in the Schengen for as long as we want. So Rory's family is from Sicily. And so we are going through his grandparents there that were born and raised in Sicily. So we're really excited. We're working with ICA out of Italy and they've been an awesome attorney group that works on citizenship so yeah, so worth it that'll be coming we're waiting on Rory's naturalization paperwork from the US immigration office yeah so if anyone knows anyone in the immigration office they could hook me up and speed up the process a little bit I'd that's all we need we're waiting on one document of one hundreds document. one document 
So wish us luck. And for those of you that are kind of new to our channel, even though it's taking a good year long break here soon, we decided to do this way back in 2022. We had empty nested four of our adult children um, and Rory's retired military. So we had funds and savings after selling everything, our house, our cars, all of our belongings in a real estate sale, except for our very small storage unit of just mementos and irreplaceables. Yeah. So we found this house on Furnished Finder, which is a lot like Airbnb, but cheaper. They started housing um, nursing contract workers and now it's available to the general public. So you can get a cute little house like this completely furnished and all we pay is the electric bill. So 2025 is the dot on the wall or the mark on the calendar that we put to look forward to. Where we're going? Well, we know the first stop will be Italy to solidify my citizenship. After that, who knows? So hopefully we'll do some more time in Italy going back to Greece, which is our favorite country and we'll see where the future lies. So we do plan on traveling again. It's not over. Oh no. So hang in there over the next year and we'll start up a new YouTube season of 2025. Be on the lookout for a little teaser trailer for the 2025 adventure. And until then, thanks for watching. Yeah, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel and we will see you in 2025. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> What's going on? Are you getting dressed? Get your clothes on. It's time to go on a ride. Let's go. Come on. You ready? Let's go.